Hi Collective, welcome back to my channel at Bobby's Girl 444. These are going to be general love message here for the collective, this is all 12 zodiac signs. So only take what resonates from this message and leave the rest at the door. If you know this is not your story and these messages don't fit, don't force them to fit, okay? So let's get started. This is my love deck, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So let's see what we get, okay? What is going on for the collective right now? Love. Good, bad, or ugly. Let's see. What's the message today? April 13th. Can I come over? Somebody wants to know if they can come over. All right. Going to need some company here. Well, we got group chat. So something's going on here in a group chat. Somebody talking. We got cut off, no access, so it's somebody that you cut off. It could be uh, your person here or somebody that you're dealing with. It could be a friend. It could be a family member. It could be a group of people. It says not thinking with love, so somebody here was not thinking with love, but they do want to come over. Maybe they're talking about this in a group chat because you're cut, there's no access or cut off here. We got hopeless, so somebody's feeling like uh, <laughs> there's no hope. There's no hope in this connection. We got rejection. So you rejected this person or this person has a fear around rejection. It says, I know you spy on me. So you know that this person's watching you. Maybe you don't want to talk to them right now. So you block them. We have you are my safety net. So this person uh, uh, depends on you for that um, stability. We've got to choose to stay stuck. It's comfortable. Right, so this person uh, basically uh, is thrives on codependency and is looking for some type of help here. Possibly going through a difficult time with money or finances, but um, they're staying stuck. They don't want to do anything about it, but they say you are the safety net, right? We got don't look back on the bottom here. So maybe you uh, said this is it. Please let me know. I gotta know. It says, I'll always choose you. So this person is saying, I'll always choose you, collective. No signs yet. All right, we got Reaper. Call me the Reaper. Oh, that's the Seeker. <laughs> ZZ Top. I don't know. Is that significant for anybody here? Someone's reaping what they're sowing. A little bit of karma. We got Jackpot. Okay, it could be some money coming to you, collective. If it has not already. Could be playing the lottery, buy a scratch off today, you might get lucky. We have unstable, somebody's unstable right now. Emotionally, could be physically unstable, could be health related issue going on. We have, I look for you everywhere. So this person is out looking for you. They can't find you in anyone. Okay, let's see, we got unexpected. Okay, so somebody wants to come over. They may show up unexpected. So be prepared. You might have a visitor. We have I dream of you. So somebody's dreaming of you. Dreaming of you tonight. Yep. Got some Selena over here. This went too far. Somebody said something happened in this group chat. I don't know if you know what happened collective, but something's going on in this group chat. We have this person can't make a decision. They're stuck in the land of in indecisions. Just dreaming away. Someone has a smear on your name campaign. Somebody's got to smear your name campaign in this group chat. Whether you know it or not, we have all or none. So you want uh, all or nothing at all. We got player energy. So you could be dealing with a player. Player could be part of this uh, group chat. Could be the ringleader or something smearing your name. So we have let's take a risk. Somebody wants to take a risk here with you. Um, a cold day in hell before I take you back. So you're saying, yes, yeah, it's going to be a cold day in hell before I take this person back. Made you an option. Now you have option. This person's a people pleaser and you deserve better. You deserve better. Let's see what else is going on here. Tell me a little bit more about this. Providing for two households. So this person is, is or has been providing for two households or you have collective. Um, I don't this person faked a death to escape out of karma. There's having a breakdown right now. Yeah, somebody's unstable. 
they're not doing good with finances. You were the safety net here. They're smearing your name in a group chat, staying stuck, spying on you. We got November. Something could have happened in November. Um, could be dealing with a Scorpio. It could be a Libra Scorpio cusp, a cusp or a um, Scorpio Sagittarian cusp. So take as it resonates because I'm picking those up also. All right, we have at a friend's house. So something happened at a friend's house or someone is at a friend's house. If they faked a death to escape, they're hiding in a friend's house. We have underestimated. So this person underestimated you or this group chat people or whoever this, uh, whoever you cut off here that's watching you, underestimated you collective. All right, we got July. We got Cancerian energy. It could be Cancerian and uh, Leo cusp. The fiddler playing your heartstrings, playing with your heart. I'm playing with your heart when I'm with you. Yeah, Justin Timberlake. <laughs> or is that tearing up my heart? Yeah, you tearing up their heart or they're tearing up your heart or they want to tear up your heart. We got convict music. They see me whining, grinding up on the floor. Yep, laid up on the floor, all right. They may be hiding in the floor in the corner. It says lying on your name. Yeah, we know this person or people are lying on your name. They got this smear campaign going on over here in this group chat. All right. Not prepared for what is next. This person don't know what's going to happen next. Because they're dealing with karma. And if they haven't dealt with karma yet, it's all coming back to me now. Yeah, it's all coming back to them now. For sure. Water sign and an air sign and cahoots together. So we got a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and a uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius that are both working together, possibly in this group chat. Time to grow up. Yeah, grow up. Pull your pants up, male or female here. Get your big girl pants on, big boy pants on. Pull them up, grow up, and be an adult. Yeah. Very childish energy, very immature over here. All right, or that's what you're telling this person. I don't know. I pretend I'm okay, but I'm really not. So somebody's saying, you know, they're putting on a facade. Everything looks good on the outside, but not on the inside. We got blocked communication. So you got this person blocked. Or the universe has them blocked right now, and they're not able to reach out to you if they are trying to reach out to you. Blah, blah, blah. This person said one ear and out the other. Doesn't it make it make sense? Make it make sense, guys, right? I see why you said um, it would be a cold day in hell before I take this person back. We have Pisces energy. But knock, knock, but it wanted to come in reverse. So this person might not come and uh, see you. They might be hesitant here. We got working it out with somebody else. So somebody's working it out with somebody else or was working it out with somebody else or is going to be working it out with somebody else. Maybe you are. Maybe you're working it out with somebody else as I get what I want. Opportunistic moves here. You can't always get what you want, but you get what you need. You remember that? You don't always get what you want, but you get what you need. It's unapproachable, like I said. Person wants to come and visit. I don't think they're going to. They can't approach you, or they're not able to approach you, or maybe you are just unapproachable at this time. Maybe this person is watching your behaviors because we know they're spying on you. No, you're spying on me. This person has bad intentions. I also hear bad reputation. So this person may be getting a bad reputation now for what they've done to you, collective. Whoever these messages for, Pisces, water sign, air sign, come out, um, Leo and Cancerian. We got tangled up in a web and they, this person wants, says, can we just kiss all night? I love the way your lips caress mine. You are my main addiction, my obsession. They are obsessed, cutting the snake off, or it says cutting the snake off with their head. Time to chop the snakes off, slitherines. We got impulsive. You're dealing with somebody that makes impulsive moves here. They want you to have a change of heart, but respect, respect and trust is earned, not given. You're dealing with a gold digger. She's a gold digger way over time that digs on me, whether it's he or she. Gold digger. Yep. Your turn. 
somebody's playing a game here, thinks it's a game. They could be waiting on you to reach out because they're unable to. Or they feel like you're unapproachable. We got a Chevy involved here. Chevy, Chevrolet, somebody drives any color. Chevy is significant. We got looking for next target, opportunistic. Money, 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 money. Oh, collective. Where'd you find this uh, this this winner here? Where'd you find this one? Uh, we have so much in common. I don't know. My collective isn't like that. We don't go out for uh, material things, 3D. We're looking for love in all the right places, right? We have children. So there's children involved here in this situation. We have sink or swim. So this person right now is just trying to stay above water because they're having a difficult time. They're challenged right now, especially with their finances. They're dig uh, dealing with a gold digger. They've been digging too much. They got too much time on their hands. I love you more than you will ever know. We got fire sign, the air sign in cahoots together. So fire, air, and water are here. Uh, oh, this person thought they would never get caught. Jig is up now. We got fake friends involved here. People being fake, they don't know how to be themselves. It says, I miss you so much. Yeah, they missing all that money. Or they're missing that uh, security and safety net that the collective has here. We have please don't go. Someone wants you to say yes. Playing mind games over here. We got relapsed. Somebody relapsed. Whether it was with another person, an individual. Um, it could have been anything. You know in your case. Uh, you make my heart beat fast and slow at the same time when we're near each other. Oh, So you got a little Romeo over here. Actually more of like a Peter Pan. It's a flighty energy in and out. So if this person comes back in, they just they ain't going to stay. They coming in to get what they want. And then they're taking off to leave. 1212 on the clock whenever I've seen that. So if 1212 means something to you, could be December. Could be Sagittarian. We got an earth sign, fire sign, water sign. They got all of them here in cahoots together. And we got that fake friends that wants to come out again. There's a lot of fake friends around you. We got bondage. Someone feels stuck. But they also choose to stay stuck. And we got scammer alert. So somebody's dealing with a scammer, a bunch of gold diggers, or a gold digger. Take it as it resonates. They're saying, let's be honest. I think maybe you're saying, let's be honest with the truth here. We got obsession. You know, you are this person's main obsession. The main attraction, collective. April's coming out. We got Aries energy. I mean, it could be an emperor or an empress. Take it as it resonates for you. An emperor an, or an empress is a leader. Someone dependable. Someone that is self-sufficient. Someone that's a humanitarian. Someone that gets things done here takes care of themselves and leads the pack all right let's see also it could be happening sometime this month if it hasn't already happened this person could be reaching out we have grass is not so green not over there not with the gold digger the fiddler sound like it was the devil in disguise Something happened outdoors on Tuesday. Something happened on a Tuesday. This Tuesday. Yes, yesterday. Yeah, yesterday or this coming Tuesday. And it says, I look at your pictures in social media because you know that they're spying on you. And it says, I'm scared. So someone's scared of themselves. It says, you smell so sweet and waiting for a message or a phone call. So you may be... I don't think that you're waiting. I think that this person's waiting for you to reach out because now they're saying it's your turn. Whoever done the dirty deeds, done dirt cheap, is the one that should reach out. And I don't think it was my collective that was the dirty, dirty deeds person or people. All right, we have unattracted. So you are unattracted to this person because they made promises and broke their promises. Okay, lying. We got June coming out. So something could have happened in June. Something could be happening this coming June. If you've been seeing 666 or 777, if you've been seeing any of those synchronicities that could be uh, significant that things are, you know, speeding up a little bit here.
things are moving a little bit quicker. You're finding answers. You're finding some type of solution here. Also, Cancerian energy. Uh, we have missing the old you. So this person is missing the old you, which collected. We have matured. The old me or the old you collective is gone. We are new person. This is a new year, new person, new mission. We're tripping. These people are tripping. Or this person's tripping right now. Power tripping. They don't know what to do. They scared, shaking in the boots. We got the earth sign and the water sign. We got all the signs here. They, it's hard to tell how many people are in this group chat smearing your name collective. We got somebody at their breaking point. They can't take it no more. Like a virgin. Hey. Somebody's saying like a virgin. Maybe they think that you're like, we got a predator. Maybe this was somebody preying on a virgin or preying on virgins. I don't know. Somebody that's pure. Okay, we have August. So Leo energy, it says cannot hold back. So this person can not hold back. So they're either going to spill because they're at their breaking point. Or something, some kind of tower is going to happen here. I want to conquer you all over and over again. This holiday trip or vacation. What happened on this holiday trip or vacation? Did they not hold back on this holiday trip or vacation? Or is this something that this person wants to take? Not the father. It's not the father. Something happened on a holiday trip or vacation here. And someone's not the father in this case. That's some uh, Maury Povich. You are not the father. <laughs> you are not. It's a lesson. Learn and move on. Keep on growing, collective. You deserve better here in this instant, okay? This person's holding on to you because you're their lucky charm. Yeah, they're holding on because you're the lucky charm. And we got group sex was involved here. That's why you're not the father. If you are a male and this is your female in this situation, you are not the father. We have passion. Passion's inside. Burning within. Unbreakable bond. So you could have had an unbreakable bond with this person. Or this person could have an unbreakable bond with whoever they're dealing with here. Okay. We have uh, fix your own mess. So you're saying fix your own mess over here. Yeah, they abandon you. They've got issues. This person has issues of their own to deal with. Got themselves in a hot mess because then they thought they weren't going to get caught, but they got a newborn. Not their baby, though. You are not the father. What is that? Uh, um, Star Wars, right? Darth Vader energy here. I am not the same person I was before. So this is person say, it says, you are my person. I'm saying that, you ch that they've changed. They've made some type of changes. They're working on fixing the mess, right? But you're saying, yeah, fix your own mess. I ain't helping you out. You got yourself into it. You made your bed. Now you can sit there. Somebody wants to take this leap of faith. Let's try but one more uh, shuffle here for this uh, love read here. This sounds like more of a uh, an attack read here. We got upgrade you, okay? So somebody wants to upgrade you or you upgraded. We got breadcrumbs so somebody was giving you breadcrumbs in this situation and you upgraded we got i told you so so maybe you said something to this person i don't know let them know ahead of time give them some type of warning that this was going to occur and this person didn't believe you so we have fate so it was something that was meant to happen it says you turn me on so effortlessly i get so hot somebody wants to take baby steps back towards you because they want to come to your house they want to see you says you give me a purpose this person doesn't have a purpose without you we have removing obstacles they're saying that they're removing obstacles holding on to something that belongs to you so this person is holding on to something collective that belongs to you that they have not given to you yet you will know what this is most likely it may be lingerie i don't know maybe a gift could be some enticement here. Maybe they want you to wear lingerie. Someone's mocking you because they think that it's funny. They think that our collective energy is funny. Making fun of you in this group chat, smearing your name, 
They could be a convict or they could be getting convicted of slander, defamation of character. So yeah, they should be worried. They should be scared. He or she will intentionally hurt you again. Yeah, because this person's got bad intentions and a bad reputation. Keep on going, Collective. If this is your person and this is your love read here, yeah, because this person's stuck in their head. They're confused. They don't know what to do. They don't know whether to whine their uh, butt or scratch or watch, right? We got, was it worth it? So somebody's saying, was it worth it? Was it you is saying, was it worth it? All this mess? Or is it this person is saying, was it cut over eye candy? Was eye candy worth it? The gold digging eye candy? I don't know. Waiting for someone like you. So someone says that they are waiting. They are waiting for someone like you. Or they have been waiting for someone like you. Maybe you are eye candy, this person. Not right now. You're just like, nope, not right now. It'd be a cold day in hell before you take this person back. Nope. Buddy, right? <laughs> This one here is a hot mess. I'm sorry. They need some, uh, uh, need to get a little bit of help in working on themselves here, working on some of these insecurities and maybe not being uh, into criminal activity might be a good idea. Uh, all right. They, they need some space. This person's saying they need some space right now. This energy, guys. I mean, let me try to give me a second. This person underestimated you, definitely. Maybe you've glown up a little bit. Or you're looking really good right now. And I think they're a little bit jealous and you've got these haters around you. Has many identities. Yeah, there's a fraud alert here. Somebody's in a fraud. Stop doing criminal things and you won't get caught. Pull five cards from the karmic deck. All right, so let's pull five cards in this karmic deck. Whether this is a uh, twin flame connection or a higher level soul connection, this person says you are my person. So this person could have went to a karmic energy or an another or karmic person. Take it as it resonates for you. If it doesn't, then leave it. And that's how karma is involved, okay? They're in a, stuck in a karmic cycle. So I will pull some cards from the karmic deck and see what's going over there. In this karmicville, this person may be hiding out at a friend's house right now. Maybe they're hiding from the law because they know that they're going to get caught, especially if they are uh, smearing someone's name. That is a an offense. If you do not know the laws, maybe it's a good idea to look into them for some of you that are doing these criminal activities on individuals that are out here helping other individuals doing well helping them get better helping them find answers helping heal let's see what's going on with this karmic here and this love connection or this love story here Sleeping in my car, can't deal with the drama. Somebody's sleeping in their car. They could be at a friend's house in their driveway. All right, let's see. A lot of drama going on there in Karmicville. They don't know what's ha gonna happen next, right? So the karmic is unbothered. They may have an STD or an STI if it's a super spreader. It's herpagonorrhea syphilitis. Welcome. Not, return to sender. Yeah. Karmic is trying to access everything you have because they have something of yours here that um, belongs to you. And they haven't given it to you yet. Hopefully it's not this STD or STI. Like I said, return to sender, guys. We have the sextortion card coming out. So they're abusing their power for sexual benefit or gain here. Groupies. A whole bunch. There was group sex that came out. A whole bunch of it. Swapping and everything else. So we know that that baby is not the father. Or that father is not the father of that baby. You just missed out on a good thing. So you collective, you're telling this person, you just missed out on a good thing. And they're, they're taking a spin on the karmic wheel over there. It's just going round and round and round. Where it stops, no one knows, right? 
who knows what the karma is going to be for this, deliberately trying to destroy your strength and confidence so they don't get left behind because they're afraid. They don't want you to leave them. Darkness will befall. They keep messing around with this criminal activity, okay, and uh, dark energies, dark entities. Then, yeah, karmic doorknob. Yeah, everybody gets a turn on this one because there's all kinds of groupies over here and all kinds of group sex. All right. You know what you do? Put bleach on the doorknob. Clean it off. Maybe not turn it so much. I don't know. This energy is a little weird in this read here. Karmic game night. Think they know what is going on with you. So they're playing phone tag over in that group chat over there. Smearing your name. They was like, what's going on? What's going on with the collective? We got a copycat. So somebody's copying you. Someone's trying to be you. I'm sure they're trying to be me too. That's all right, because this person's going to get caught because they thought they weren't going to get caught. And it'd be coming out. Someone's being blackmailed. Yeah. And being watched. Who knows who they're being watched, you know? Someone's watching me, then someone else is watching them. That's how it goes. Someone's watching you, Collective, then somebody else is watching them watch you. Oh. How the cookie crumbles. We got bread. Uh, <laughs> bread? Okay, somebody may need some bread. We got friends with benefits. Yeah, this could be that friend's house they're sleeping in the car at, in the driveway. The friend with benefits could be the girlfriend or the boyfriend or the karmic. I'm literally losing everything because of greed, because this person was greedy. They want, they get what they want. That's what they said. So you got what you want. That's what you wanted. And now why are you unhappy? says have no faith these people don't know jesus because they too busy over here grouping it up they don't know how to be independent this person doesn't know how to be an independent person there's too much codependency here they have to have somebody else next to them all the time or they have to have company constantly clingy energy you can't be by yourself and you can't be comfortable in your own skin i i don't then you don't even know yourself. Learn who you are. Pandora's box. They opened the seven deadly sins over there. That's why they're in trouble. They got circus juggling going on. Yep. They don't know what to do. They don't know what's going to happen next because there's no new beginnings. Nothing new is coming. So whatever they get, crabs are biting at their ankles. Yeah. All right, a couple more here. I got you a little bit more than five. Yeah, the karmic is sleeping with a family member. This family member could be the father of that baby, that child, that newborn. I'm not going to say for all of you that that is possible, but for some of you, that's possible, okay? All right, we have they're uh, doing the most right now. Yeah, this person's doing the most over in that group chat, slandering your name. Yeah. They're abusing, yeah, they're abusing the partner or they're abusing your partner. You know, they're telling them all different types of stories. It's the great storyteller over there, things that aren't true and they don't know what's real. They're a prisoner in their own mind and they're a prisoner in their own life. So uh, no worry because they keep spinning this karmic wheel. God's in control of this situation. He gonna take care of it. The universe is taking care of this. Yeah, they got a big mess that they can't fix. And you told them to fix their mess says you're not going anywhere so this person's not going to let you go this says karmic family and friends make me hate you gotta hate to love you i gotta hate you to love you that kind of love kind of love is that to hate somebody to love them and you're not entertaining scallywags watch your dreams they may be trying to come into your dreams okay and we have playing with fire just like fire but the collective is on fire this girl is on fire or boy either one there's no discrimination over here we're here to help we're here to get answers we're here to heal i love you guys and i want to uh get these messages out by the way, someone says, by the way, 
All right, let's uh, get these um, letters here. First, middle, last. It could be for you or your person in this situation or anybody involved here. That's way too many. So we got B T H W Q. I got a F. We got a sister involved. We got an X. We got a uh, Capricorn, and this has been coming up prominently late, late, lady, lately. <laughs> it could, yeah, lady, sister. Sister Christian, all the time has come. Oh. Now you know that you're the only one to say. All right, we have a son, a nephew, a spouse, and a father. All right, we got the letter V. We've got a U, and we have an X. Whoa. We got Y. Way too many, guys. They're all falling everywhere. Kissing cousins. So I heard kissing cousins. This could have been somebody's cousin that they were sleeping with. Like some incest stuff here. I don't know. That's sick. People need to heal. You need to heal from that. But some people don't want to heal, so you can't make somebody do something that they do not want to do. And that's not why we're here. We're here to help people that actually want help, that want to find answers, that need assistance, okay? All right, so we have, uh, with the people, we have coworker, we have a nephew, we have a spouse, we have a father, we have a sister, and we have an ex and a son that could all be involved, or they, like I said, they could be one person with a couple of different, you know, one person could be an ex, but they could also be a son, or they could be an ex and be a sister, uh, a sister, not your sister, but <laughs> unless it is down south, I don't know, everybody has their own forte here, right? Like I said, we're not discriminating anybody, we are um, getting the messages out here. So let me look at these letters here, see if I can get you some names, or I can get you some messages out of uh, out of this here, okay? Uh, the only sign I saw, well, we had all the signs pretty much came out. Capricorn is prominent here. This could also be about karma and reaping what you sow too. All right, so I hear railroad. So something with the railroad here, railroad crossing. I'm also hearing like some suicidal te uh, ideations going on so I don't know if, please get somebody some help please reach out to somebody that's the first thing that popped in my head when I'm looking at this first thing all right so we have never 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 run away somebody says never run away but okay so hands Something about somebody's hands. I think I said that like palms in the other reading I did a couple days ago. Something with the hand or hand gestures, hand motions. This could have to do with the copycat energy too. Who knows? They probably copy in my hand motions too, but whatever. Can't copy somebody's energy. I see done. So somebody may be feeling really stupid right now. Or feeling bad about themselves or feeling regretful here. Definitely, uh, there could be some STDs or STIs here, someone um, trying to heal that or getting some type of treatment. Someone's watching a lot of TV more than what they should, like binging. Wanda? Something with the windows here. Did somebody break a window? There's a fund of some sort. It could be something that's owed to you. Something to do with a fund. CPS could be involved if there's children here. This could have been a BFF or someone you thought was a BFF. Or maybe this, you had a best friend in this uh, in this read here. Maybe somebody in that group chat. I don't know. 
someone needs a nap or needs to get some sleep, they're not getting any sleep. They could be haunted or being hunted, one or the other. Think about puns. Hannah. Nova, somebody could drive a Nova. Danger, there's danger somewhere. It's either danger lurking or this is just a dangerous situation here. There's crossbones, some kind of poison or something. Somebody could have gotten poisoned. Somebody could have a fever. I picked that up in another reading too. Like somebody's body's like really hot. Um, somebody could be traveling out west. Yeah. Somebody could be headed west. Southwest, I'm hearing. Now that could be flying southwest. Also, Donna, Danielle, Brianna, Brandon. Pawn. That could also be something related to like deers or hunting. Could be your children. Like your babies, just protection. Maybe you're worried about being protected collective, but right now you're protected. You're protected from this, even though the, there is a danger warning here. Someone could be panting. Maybe they're on the run or they're running right now. Maybe you, you're dealing with someone that's like an athlete that runs. Someone could be pregnant again. Or yeah. I did talk about bread, you know, things rising. That's uh, yeast. That could also have something to do with your private areas too, if you have an STD or an STI going on. Someone could be very cold right now too. I see a person that is like burning up on fire, hot, not actually on fire. Okay, guys. <laughs> and then I see another person that's really, really cold. So I don't know if it's just different energies that are around um, each one of these individuals or if they're actually sick right now. The number two could be significant here. Something at the pub, somebody could be at the bar, somebody could be drinking really heavily right now. Something heavy here, heavy energy. Someone is putting on a few pounds here. Maybe you're overeating or you're eating, stress eating too much. Something feels heavy or they're just a lot of burdens that are being piled up right now. Somebody's just weighed down because they don't know what's going to happen next. Someone definitely got a diagnosis here of something. And they could have had a history of it before, but I mean, it's not going to be for all of you. 
but it could be something that's repeated, especially if there was groupies involved or some kind of group sex here. Somebody says the waiting is the hardest part. Like some um, Tom Petty, so somebody could be listening to Tom Petty. Nancy, maybe somebody just being negative, being a negative Nancy. I definitely see a, a cycle here. This could be the repeat cycle, or I can, I also see like wheels, so it could be like a bicycle. I see somebody on a bicycle. I feel like this could be an athlete or somebody that works out, somebody that likes to get around outside, outdoors, in the park, and uh, on trails here. Someone could be very handy, and this is not in a good way, with their tools. I got to get out of this energy, guys. Okay, I'm done with this read. C-D-P-N-X-B-H-F. U-V-T-W-Y and Q are the letters. First, middle, last initial of you or your person or anyone that you're dealing with in this love read here. So hopefully these messages resonated. They're able to give you some type of uh, clarity here to your situation. Maybe give you a warning in some instance because for some of you, this hasn't happened yet. For some of you, this is happening now. For some of you, this might not be happening until the future. So just take what resonates for you and leave the rest, okay? I hope you have a wonderful hump day Wednesday, April, uh, April 13th, and I hope you take care. Good luck.